All right, guys. They're playing a Riven top lane into one of my most favorite matchups of all time. We're playing Riven into a Jax. And like you guys know it, I've been talking a lot about this matchup. I don't know. Like this matchup has been my favorite matchup since season three, which has been ten years. Ten years long. I've been enjoying this one. Um, Either way, we have the Conquer page, Nimbus Cloak Transcendence, got two Adaptive and a Longsword. So I pretty much know everything about this matchup. Like, pretty much uh, besides training everything. Like, I've seen so many Jax plays in my life. Especially back in the days, so there were so many Jax plays. And even now, like, Jax is meta currently, so we're seeing Jax quite a lot. Um, the way how you beat a Jax is very, very straightforward. It's way more simple than you think it is. Um, what you do is you will literally go for a short trade against Jax. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second. You'll go for a short trade into Jax. You hit the third Q, auto W, E. And you, yeah, you disengage with your shields. There's no way that Jax can trade you back after that. Um, and eventually it comes down to like baiting down the Counter-Strike from Jax. And then all you have to do is all in and you win. That's it. If he all ins you with Counter-Strike, you can literally cast ultimate while being all in by your Jax with Q, E. And you also win. So the matchup is... A lot of people see this as a bad matchup. It's actually one of the best matchups you can play against. Like, you just have to play around his Counter-Strike. That's that's pretty much it. It's not as complicated as you think it is. But you gotta be very responsive. You gotta react quickly to what he's up to. Like, yes, the Counter-Strike is shield out, and there it is. Does not land because you just walk away. And now, it's a free kill. There you go. So... That's Jax, and... Yeah, like, th this is pretty much how it goes every single time. If you do it properly, you will never really get hit by a trade, ever. Um, even when the Q hits, like, mid-air, like, Jax is gonna, um, Jax is gonna Q on you, you can basically shield out the Q and take zero damage, if you do it correctly. What is he doing? Oh. I don't think I'm gonna make it out here. <laughs> Today's my lucky day, I guess. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Let's go, man. Let's go. Um, I think what I'm gonna do with this game is go for a Gorjinger build. Let's go. <laughs> I value the Gorjinger build a lot because... Um, specifically in this matchup, Jax is a champ that um, if you are very low in HP, he could actually burst you in a matter of seconds. Um, if a play is like not made properly right if you have a gore drinker set up you can also mix up your gore drinker in the middle of the short trade and make and have even better short trades nice one he's got no counter strike so i missed my q unfortunately and there it is. Even if I miss my Q right there, I had so much damage because of my item, because of the um, because of the iron spike I built. I was able to kill him even with just one combo. I'm about to get level six here. I'm going to kill him again. Wait a second. I don't care if I'm going to get ganked. I'll just go one versus two then. I'm not going to place any wards now. Okay. And we're about to get another catch. And there it is. So now you probably get the idea why this matchup is one of my favorite ones. 
and why it will forever be one of those. Because <laughs> you, you outplay the Counter Strike, and that's it. There's not much more you have to do. Now we go for Warhammer, Ruby Crystal, and that's pretty much it. We could also buy a potion if we wait like five gold. I'll just buy it. It's gonna make things like slightly, uh, slightly easier. <clears throat> Let's see here. He's got a Warhammer, so he's going for, uh, I don't know. Let me check, what, what is he building towards? A sense reaver? Could it be? Or uh, he's going to define, I think. Never mind. I have a new purpose now. Okay, now we hold the wave for what it is. Because the wave is shoving into us. Um, the only way for Jax to play this game now is by walking up and last hitting, and then he will die to my trades. You see? He can't farm because the wave is pushing into me. As long as I keep freezing the wave, he will never get a last hit anymore. So the only way for him to get a last hit is by, is by walking up. Nice. Say he's not getting any of these. There you go. And now we hold the wave again. Let's see what Jack's gonna do. It seems like he's already starting to tilt because he doesn't get any last hits. No. He's walking back too much, so he's also not getting the XP anymore. Keep freezing. Next wave will arrive tail. The best part is, uh, like after the wave starts uh, stacking up again, I can then put it into a slow push, which will also make me win even harder because then I can go for a reason, buy items, and come back, and you'll still be in lane. He'll lose the cannon. Whoops, I missed the last hit. Well. Oh, <laughs> that was a pretty late one. <laughs> An ally has been slain. Oh. Well, whatever, it's fine. So let's go Gorchinker. Um, next, we're gonna be building Hydra. And then after Hydra, uh, maybe Grutch. Or maybe. Maybe Ghost Blade. Maybe Gorchinker Ghost Blade into Hydra, actually. That would also sound like a little fun. Very snowbally build. Does that make sense? Let's go. Let's see. That's still top lane, taking care of the tower and everything. Okay. So yeah, now the game is going to get pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. You'll see. We're going to be pushing top all day. Keep on taking waves. Keep on going for trades, all ins, like catches. And we're also going to look for rotations. Hopefully we can dive him under tower. That's what I'm trying to do here. And he's pretty much as good as that. Yep. 
taking way too much damage, to be honest. Do they have an Ezreal ultimate? Yeah, they do. They have an Ezreal ultimate. Let's reset. <clears throat> Actually, I don't think I will go for a reset because it turns out all of them are showing and I can sustain up anyway. Katarina's on the way. I am definitely getting ganked by a Katarina. <laughs> There's no doubting it. This guy's definitely wasting a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Are you kidding? You went for a flash. <laughs> oh, are you kidding, man? Are you... <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change my build around. I, I think I'm not going Hydra anymore. I, I think I'm going to go for multi Memorias. The Scatterina is, is, a, is a problem. Whew. Did not expect Katarina to do that. But that will mess up my lane, unfortunately, because... Jax is going to get plates now. That's not good for me. Let's go up to this wave. Yeah, Katarina is going to be an issue. It will be very good if I can get plates here. That's going to give me a lot of gold. Nice. Well, this guy doesn't have anything to chase me down anyway. The congregation's rock pervades everything they do. Get another one of these. I think I'll take uh I'll take just plants. Get them back to full HP this way. And we're gonna go back mid. Actually my teammates are already farming mid lane, so let's go for a couple jungle camps. There you go. These are like the kind of like uh, things we want to be looking out for if we want to snowball this game. Like we have to take these jungle camps. It makes a very big difference. And we also see if we can take a, a jungle camp here. I would appreciate it if we can get it. I think that Grace will show because he's going for a red buff. Nice, got the wave. Got to go back here though because Katarina's on the way. <clears throat> Definitely top priority, uh, this item. Got the pickaxe and longsword because it provides more damage. Nice, that's the shutdown. Did not expect that Katarina was gonna int like that actually. Because she was like 7 of 1. She actually died twice in a row. That's pretty bad for her. Let's go back top again. We'll be pushing out the wave, and then I think rip off, rip off is definitely taken already. It was spawned like three minutes ago. So we're not going to look for a red buff, but I will push this out and then probably go for a rotate towards mid. Kidding.
I could try and kill Katarina, or actually, this is better. This is way better. Yep. And we also get this camp. Nice. We're going to be farming uh, the golems too. Let's get it. So yeah, we got, uh, we got a kill there, my teammates got kills as well, and we're taking every single jungle camp at the same time. So yeah, th this is pretty massive because it's not just kills anymore we're talking about, like we're talking about straight up like multiple jungle camps again. And if you do this consistently all the time, you are making, like eventually you're making a massive lead. You're gonna be like multiple levels ahead. That's why you're, uh, that's why you're always going for jungle camps guys. That's how important it is. <sighs> All right, let's go top again. I am guilty of anything. It's inaction. <laughs> Traveling through plants, like, welcome to League. <laughs> let's take the wave. I don't even care if I'm getting hit. Can I get him here? I'm pretty sure Astro is still up here. He's baiting. It's so obvious. It's it's insane, bro. I don't know what he was baiting for, but. There was definitely someone up here. Just don't know who it was, but yeah. It's like tower. I don't care if I get ganked by graves. I think I can 1v1 him by myself. That's why I don't care too much. That's why I don't have any vision. We get the jungle camp again. Like, <laughs> we've been shrieking this camp all the time. Like three times, four times in a row, maybe. Also, um, this jungle camp here as well. We've been we've been farming this thing all the time. There you go. It's about to spawn again. Yeah, it should be here. I think we might also get the red buff. That would be hilarious if we do. <clears throat> but it's a risky. Well, Grace is not here. Yeah, this guy's not trying. I'm not gonna risk too much. Kidding? Come on, just go down, bro. There you go. I don't really think that Zara is gonna overextend here. Uh, let's go for... Let me check here. <laughs> this will be hilarious, but... Ah, no, I'm not gonna build it. Nah. No, no, no. Or should I? Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's, let's actually do it. Never mind. We're doing it. <laughs> you know why I'm doing it specifically? It's, um... It's the, it's the ability haste, uh, the HP magic assist, but <laughs> I also like the effect. <laughs> oh, the <they> gore drink. <laughs> Maybe should get a Hydra too. Maybe should get a Hydra first and then go for the item, or maybe the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, it's not there. 
Yeah, we got him. There you go. Hmm. I need to get Hydra for sure. Well, let's get the cap again, I suppose. Hmm, Grace does a lot of damage. <laughs> we got Spear Passage. Let's go. <laughs> I have no idea how good this is going to be. It's been a very long time since I built it, but... I think it's hilarious. I think it's going to be such a good item here. <laughs> Let's go, man. Hey, by the way, Master, thank you so much for the subprime, dude. You're the first prime today. Thank you so much, man. Let's go for a crunch reward. I uh, I want to build Hydra next, and then maybe like final item, maybe a uh, death stance. So I'm thinking about Hydra into death stance, and then we're full full build. <clears throat> Maybe I can flank them? Hold on a second. I'll try it out. There you go. And we're gonna go back top. We're gonna be seeing if we can push it all the way into the tower again. These guys are not even worth that much gold anymore, bro. We've been farming Katarina's. Let's take the wave. Uh, Drake spawns in 20. Next one. Drake spawns in 5. So I'm going to take this wave and then we instantly rotate. This will force Katarina to farm it, at least I hope that she will. Then we can basically turn A5 against 4. Seems like she doesn't. Okay. Seems like she's not interested. <laughs> well, no problem. I'll just farm this game so I can be efficient. Oh, it's already taken. Apparently stolen. Okay. Let's grab this one real quick. Did I really fail that one? <laughs> oh, that's like one Q, bro. That's like wrong Q from Nessus. How many stacks does he have? It's got 700 stacks, okay. I was expecting more, but that's already some good stacks. Okay. Nice. Well, we can take the fight, but... Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back. The time for faith is okay, time to get Hydra. Let's see how effective the... Oh? It's more effective than I thought, actually. <laughs> 2600 I bought this item like what like two minutes ago or three minutes ago bonus healing 299 Okay Not bad
Not bad, dude. Not bad, man. Can I also... Yep, I got it. Okay, this guy's got Baron. I'm chilling up here. Is he gonna flash? Oh, <laughs> the ward. It was an exact. Huh? My Gorchenko was two seconds, bro. Not like one second, actually. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, he's got two kills, dude. Ah, I failed. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, man. I need that stance. Yeah, I need that stance for sure. Alright, Jax is top. It's three versus one. These guys will have an easy time. Wait, Vayne Vem for a reset? Nashus, I mean, Nessus could have just finished this game here, if you ask me, because he has ultimate. What is he doing, though? Oh, wow. Wow. That Nessus, did you guys see that? My support was going for the inhib. And Nessus is like, nope, I'm walking away. Good luck, have fun. Some deserve death more than others. That's sad, bro. This Nasus like purposely walked away and kind of inted for the um, for my support. That's if you ask me, that's soft inting, in my opinion. That's soft inting, for sure. He just walked away there. He knew he he knew what he was doing. He was purposely, uh, purposely delaying it. Definitely has been done on purpose right there. I don't know why Nessus players always do that. They just care more about the stacks than the game. Attack the the, the the wave, bro. Ah, oh, how unfortunate is that actually? Yeah, we don't have a jungler, man. This guy is uh, farming stacks on his Q all day. I've been noticing it. Nessus is purposely not ending the game. Hmm. What? He walked away? He didn't care, apparently. Hmm. Oh, that's like... Oh wow, that, that was some nice damage. Yo, we have a jungler that doesn't care about this game. I don't, I don't like jungles like this. Mm. 
Of course, you gotta have the Nasus that doesn't care about winning, but only cares about stacking. This guy is clearly not trying to play out the game anymore. <clears throat> What's funny is that Nasus with stacks does not really matter because... Let's face it off, like late game, if they get armor, it's... Just get the tower, man. There's like two people mid lane. Just get it, bro. What are you waiting for? Did I deserve a second chance? You don't end the game. Yeah, then you make this kind of play. I need that sense. I'm just gonna count uh, my jungle away. Like this guy is, is not existing for me. Four against five. This guy is definitely not playing the game. The red is growing on me. You can't count on this Nessus at all. And wait until the enemy team gets full build. Like, Je like Nasus is not going to do anything late game with all these stacks. Like, if he gets like 2,000 stacks, it does not matter. They get armor. Have fun. Like, your Q is not going to do any damage. So you can farm as much as you want to, but... A full crit graves. Well, I had to do that. Nah, Nessus, come on. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to play this game anymore with this Nessus, bro. This guy is purposely, purposely not ending the game. I, I can see it, bro. I am, I'm not blind. I can see it. Ah. This guy only cares about these stupid stacks. Like, get it. Come on, man. This guy's walking away from getting in hips. Oh, you know, I don't even want to win this game with this Ness anymore. I want him to lose this game. I wish I could surrender, but I'm pretty sure everybody's going to press now. I don't want to I don't want to give this guy the satisfaction of these stupid cues. I hate Nasus players for doing this. Like, they all do this stuff all the time. No one cares about these stupid stacks, bro. Just end the game. Like, end it. Get, get lost with these stupid stacks, man. Nobody cares. Cool, you got 1,248 stacks. Like, fun. Like, cool. You're, you're literally keeping people hostage this game for doing it. Come on, man. Like, four people this game. Not just me, but like everybody else on this team too. Like you're keeping them all stuck in this game. Just get get it done with, you know? Oh man, this Nasus. What a joke. Yeah, go for a Drake. Stack that too, maybe. This Nasus is ignoring this whole fight right here, bro. <laughs> this Nasus is going to the jungle. Look at the map. Look what this guy's doing, bro.
I just hate this nasty so much. Ah, uh, I just want to get. I want to go next game. Um, I just want to go next. I want to. I don't want to see this nasty anymore. I wish we had a jungler, bro. Not some guy softening thing on purpose. I don't get it. These stupid stacks. I don't get these people. I just wish oh man i'm sorry guys but i just can't play this game anymore like i don't know what can i do how can i not complain about this nessus this guy only cares about stacks like if he doesn't want to finish the game like how can i ignore this it's making it's <laughs> i i understand why people start like i understand people now why why people flame each other this is why this these people are literally the reason why they, they start all of this, dude. Like, come on, man. Nobody cares about your stupid your stupid stacks. Nobody does, bro. Spin shit. There you go. You're stacking for 30 years. is paying off. You're losing one versus two, bro. Like, your, your stacking has paid off. You got 1,400 stacks. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna trust the rendering. Oh, my T will press no, I'm pretty sure. Yes, please. Oh no! Oh. I am feeling so stuck in this game. I don't know what to do. We don't have a jungler. We have a jungler like, like, purposely not ending the game. What can you do against it? How can you win a game if your jungler is playing to purposely extend the game? I don't know what to do. Look, like, look, look at this. This, this guy is just farming jungle camps again. How can you play like with a person like this? I don't know what to do. Can't break, it's already broken. I don't care about winning this game anymore. Like, I just want to get out of this game because of this guy. I, I don't know what to do anymore, man. Like, that's a Drake spawning. This guy is farming jungle camps. Like. There's literally a Drake spawning in 15 seconds. What are you even doing here? My blade needs Nessus players so much, man. Like, seriously, bro. I hate these people. 
These are some of the worst people you can play with, bro. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the YouTube video here and then go AFK because this Nasus is keeping us in this game for a very long time. Anyway, sucks that we have a Nasus that does this. I can't believe that we're being held like hostage in this game, just unable to play because this guy is soft and thing. But yeah, either way, thank you for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Your team has destroyed.